Okay, let's talk about what happens whenever you upload an image on your WordPress site. If I come down here to settings and I click on media, you can see I have three different sizes. I have a thumbnail size, a medium size, and a large size. These are the three default sizes that come with your WordPress installation. Now, whenever you upload a fresh image, WordPress will automatically try to create three different versions for that image. You will have the thumbnail uh, sized version, the medium sized version, and of course, the large sized version of that same image. Now, based on what you've set here, here we have 150 by 150, for example, 300 by 300, 1024 by 1024. Now, based on the sizes that you have right here, WordPress will try to recreate three different versions that fit each requirements that you have right here. Okay. And this is why it's always a good idea to upload large images or at least upload images that are at least the size of what you have done here for your large size. Because say, for example, you uploaded an image that is 100 pixels by 100 pixels. That is a very small image. Now imagine how what WordPress would have to do in order to create a size that is 150 by 150 from an image that is 100 pixels by 100 pixels. That would mean the image would have to be stretched in order to fit 150 by 150 and obviously the image will, will look blurry, there will be loss of quality and you don't want that to happen. So it's always a good idea to upload images that are at least the size of what you have done here for large size. Okay. So from here, you can change your requirements. If, for example, if you decided later on that, you know, I don't want my thumbnail size to be 150 by 150 anymore. I want it to be 180 by 180 by 150. You can click on save changes and this is fine. Okay. This is perfectly fine. The problem here is that the previous images that you've already uploaded in the past before you made this change would not be affected by this new change. And what if you wanted all your images on your website, every single image that you've uploaded from the beginning of time, what if you wanted them to have this new size? You are going to have to regenerate all your thumbnails. And that's what we're going to talk about in the next class. Okay, we'll talk about a plugin that would allow you to regenerate all your thumbnails so that whenever you create a new size, all you need to do would just be to regenerate all your thumbnails and those your images will now have the new versions that you've created down here. Okay. So let's talk about how to regenerate thumbnails using the plugin. And also do not forget to check your resources tab for this particular video. I have included a link to a post where you can learn more about thumbnail sizes and what happens whenever you change your sizes and you know what happens whenever you, rege you regenerate thumbnails. Okay. So check the link and I will see you in the next class. Right now, let's talk about the regenerate thumbnails plugin. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go down to uh, the plugins page, obviously, and we're going to add the regenerate thumbnails plugin. So it's regenerate thumbnails, and it's by Viper 007 Bond. I like this name. <laughs> well, for obvious reasons, I'm a James Bond fan. But anyway, click on install now. And activate. Okay, so let me just come down to uh, let me see media. Let's check our media. Okay, these are the images that we have so far. Look at this guy. Okay, so what I'm going to do is first of all, I'm going to come down to tools, and as you can see, we have the regenerate thumbnails plugin uh, link right here. But first, let's change the sizes. Okay, let me come down to media. Okay, this has been changed already. Let me change medium size from 300 to 340. Max height to 310. Oh, 315. Save that. Let me just click on the post. Let's just see Asian holiday. I think this has an image visual. Okay, I'm going to click on the edit link right here. Okay, now you can see medium size is, is 300 by 198, 150, full size is 440 by 290. 
this is going to change very soon. Okay, let me just update this. Come back down to tools. Click on the regenerate thumbnails. Lift this page. And as you can see, we have the link right here. So I'm just going to click on the regener regenerate all thumbnails. Okay, so what happens right now is that WordPress is recreating uh, new sizes for the images that we've uploaded because we've changed the thumbnail size and the medium size. Okay, so let's come back down to appear to posts. Go back to the Asian holiday. Click on this link. Click on the edit edit link. Now you can see medium size has now changed to 340 by 224, and thumbnail size is now 180 by 150. Okay, so as you can see right now, we now have the new sizes based on the changes that we made. So that's exactly how to regenerate your thumbnails in WordPress. Okay, now we are going to do something very exciting. Okay, we are going to transfer all the posts that we have on coolerlineincome.com to uefablogger.com now this may be something that you will never have to do in wordpress but just in case in the future you know you want to move all your content from your old website to your new website you have a video that you can watch that will you know teach you how to do that so just uh, keep this in your archives section so what i'm going to do is i'm going to come down to coolonlineincome.com go down to tools and from tools click on export because we are exporting content click on export and here you can decide what you want to export you can either choose to export all the content posts pages or meta slider this list that we have for meta slider okay in this case i'm just going to click on posts and now from here you can choose the categories do you want to go with all categories or just this, a particular kind of category but i'm going with all now the authors all as well date range everything i want everything so just click on download export file from here i'm going to click on that and now we have an xml file that is saved on my desk top okay so that's a very very simple fast way of exporting all your content from one website to an xml file now in the next class i'm now going to show you how to import the file into your new WordPress site. So I will see you in the next class. All right, so our files have been exported. Now it's time to import. I'm going to go down to my UFA Blogger site, go to Tools, and click on Import. Now from Import, I'm going to choose WordPress. WordPress. And now we have to install a plugin called the WordPress Importer. So I'm going to click on Install now. Activate the plugin. Right, now it's asking us to choose the file that we want to import. So I'm just going to drag this file down here. Update file at import. And now it's asking who we should assign the new posts to either to admin or to Alex because these are the two use user accounts that we have on our UFA blogger site I'm just gonna choose Alex and now you can choose to download and import file attachments as well so in case you have images or PDF documents uh, you know or videos they will be imported as well so I'm gonna click on this click on submit and it's all done so let's see posts click on posts and as you can see, we have a Wolf of Smoke Street, Asian Holiday, WordPress Rocks, Hello World, and also the test post. Let's view this. And we have our image down here. As you can see, it works. We have all the content as well. Let's see, uh, Wolf of Smoke Street. Let's see how this looks like. We see we have our images as well. So that's pretty much how to import uh, files or how to export files from one WordPress site to another. Keep in mind that, uh, or rather, don't forget that you can also do the same for your pages and all your content as well. So I hope uh, this was uh, pretty exciting. Thank you for watching. I will see you in the next class.